space exploration is back in the spotlight, especially with NASA's upcoming launch of the Artemis 1 Space Launch System rocket to the moon. And now the objective is to colonize it and maybe Mars later on. But how will we build houses on the moon? 3D printing could make cost-effective lunar colonization a reality. At IMTS, Ingersoll showcased their master print robotic system, which is able to print a door mold in polymer for a space habitat. It will weigh 145 pounds and take just under seven hours to print. With carbon fiber and glass fiber layup tools, the usual time to market is several months, three to four months. However, with additive manufacturing, we can create a eight meter, 10 meter long mold in only three days. And once you've printed the mold, it will only take one to two weeks to mill because we are printing near net shape, which means we print the entire part with around five millimeters to eight millimeters of stock. And then the machining process is much quicker. The master print robot also printed the exterior shell of the seven meter tall experimental Rosenberg space habitat located in Switzerland. The current plan is the design is for six of them to fit inside of a rocket and we would send it to the moon. But the long-term plans are, it's caught, like you were saying, it's very costly to send every structure to the moon. So the long-term goals is that they would install a smaller master print robotic on the moon to be able to print components that they need. The James Webb Telescope was launched in December 2021 with the mission of exploring the universe's past. It is the world's largest and most complex space science telescope ever built and contains a dozen or so unprecedented technologies. One of them is the six and a half meter pure beryllium mirror. Composed of 18 individual segments, the mirror captures the infrared light emitted by distant objects. It is made in beryllium because this material is lightweight and can withstand very cold temperatures. Mitri Seiki was contacted by NASA for the project. But making the 18 components was a challenging mission because machining beryllium is complicated. When you machine beryllium and you remove about, you know, 20 to 40 microns of material, they have to be taken out of the machine, put in a titanium bag with nitrogen, put into a heat treat oven, taken up to 1800 degrees, and then put taken out and put back in the machine. And then another you know, 15, 20 thousandths of material is removed over and over and over. So in order to do the job and meet the schedule, they needed eight machines. Each machine removing just a small amount of beryllium over and over and over. The machines had to be built, all eight of them, with exactly the same geometry in the slice of space that the lens would sit in. If the company was able to provide eight custom-built horizontal four-axis machining centers, it is because it specializes in making core competency machine tool platforms. So this machine series was built to do a very specific job. That space where each lens had to move and move and move had to be exactly the same geometry. can only be done by hand scraping and hand fitting machines. Two years were needed to complete the job. The machines were only built for this specific mission but half of them are still being used today to make gearboxes for aerospace.